Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Phantom of the Haunted Hill. <laughs> I, almost, uh, I almost said mall, Phantom of the Mall. Remember that movie? Uh, I thought today we'd talk about one of my all-time favorite bands, a death metal band called Desultory or Desultory but I think the correct pronunciation is desultory. You look very desultory this evening. Why, thank you. My name's Russell Desultory. How you doing? All right, well, <laughs> enough stupidity. Desultory or de desultory <laughs> formed in 1989 put out their first demo 1990 called from beyond followed by death unfolds and then the uh they put out in be in they put out a demo called visions but in between death unfolds and visions they had a compilation forever gone which i haven't actually heard that particular release that's like the only thing i've never heard by them <laughs> Unless I have, and I don't know. And then they put out their first masterpiece album, Into Eternity. Now, Desultory's death metal, and uh, the, their demos are really, really death metal, like, you know, underground total death. And Into Eternity is still very, very heavy, but it has some uh, thrash, more thrash, like thrash death or death thrash. So Into Eternity comes in my mailbox because I used to do a zine called Blood Feast Incorporated, which was horror and uh, extreme music like this channel right here. <laughs> I've never changed. That was back in the early eight, 90s. So for Metal Blade Records, I got stuff for a review. One of them was the cassette tape for Desultory Into Eternity. I put it on. <laughs> First thing I noticed is the musicianship. Fucking phenomenal. They, the drummer, uh, Thomas Johnson, is, is remarkable, man. <laughs> Anybody who could play like this guy, he's all over the place. He ain't just keeping a steady beat. He's doing all kinds of fancy things and kicking total fucking ass. And uh, no, it's not prog death or whatever that shit is. <laughs> this is just death metal. And uh, the lyrical content dealing with death, like understanding life, and I like the song Into Eternity sings about wanting to go and see what death is actually like, but not really wanting to die. And I think all of us feel that way. We, we wonder what's going to happen. <laughs> of course, when it does happen, ain't nothing we can do about it. Okay, so then they, well, this right here is a CD of all their demos and uh, it's called from beyond the visions of death here we got the back we got the picture of the band songs like uh eternal darkness cease to exist passed away is on here which is on into eternity some of the songs are on into eternity the chill within depression, visions. They even have a symptom of the universe. They do a cover of Black Sabbath on there. Uh, what did I, I should I put this? Uh, go there. <laughs> so then 1990 comes around. Well, uh, not 1990. I, think it was, I can't remember. I think it was 93. Maybe earlier. Into Eternity. Here it is. It's not the cassette, though. My cassettes are either uh, other people have them or <laughs> they're in the closet. So yeah, Into Eternity 
excellent, great album, total death thrash with phenomenal musicianship, not just the drummer, but the bass player, everybody in the band is awesome and tight. Then they put out their second album, Bitterness, which is a great album. It took me a long time to uh, listen to it on a regular basis because it's a little bit lighter. And uh, by lighter, I get, I don't know what to say, more melodic, that melodic death metal. But such great songs on here, like Life Shatters is a classic. What else is on here? I can't even read it. Taste of Tragedy bleeding <clears throat> so this was their second album and all these cds i'm showing you are re-releases from old metal blade albums they're on pulverized records where you re-release -re these so this is still a great album just uh i don't know it's kind of it's it's great but it just doesn't have that meat that into eternity had but still great songs on there then uh they put out an album i do i threw my cd in the garbage i do believe swallow the snake the fucking album sucked it sounded like this that new metal crap like uh what's that german band people like I, the dudes are like a, a commandant or a, I don't know what it is, that shit. But it was totally not death metal, not thrash. I don't know what the fuck it was. It wasn't desultory, that's for sure, but it was. <laughs> after that, uh, who, who left the band after that? Stephen Pogue left the band. <laughs> well, he left and then they made Swallow the Snake. I'm trying to go by my notes here. <laughs> Yeah, so he should have stayed in the band because <laughs> when he left, they went berserk. They broke up after that album. Good thing, because <laughs> if you heard it, nah, it's shit. <sighs> 14 years go by. Counting our scars. This is the sleeve for it. And so we'll take it out of the sleeve. <laughs> we got that same face, except in a different uh, direction. Counting our scars. This album came out and it was a complete return to fucking brutal heaviness with the melodic involved. And it's just, it's just masterpiece, man. Counting Our Scars, the title track in a cage, every song on here, incredible, catchy, totally jamming guitar riffs. The Moment is Gone, <sighs> e Uneven Numbers, Leeching Life, A Crippling Heritage. What a masterpiece. This might be my favorite. It's either this or Into Eternity. <laughs> We'll have to have them battle it out. This album, Extreme Heaviness again. <laughs> and uh, it's funny because my wife had passed away and uh, I got this CD and I was reading the lyrics and just started crying because the lyrics hit so close to home. Like the lyrics for Counting Our Scars the moment is gone is about someone who was in my wife's position, you know, dying <laughs> and uh, then finally getting there. Excellent band, excellent stuff. They put out an album after uh, Counting Our Scars through Aching Aeons and they announced that was gonna be their last album and the band was breaking up and they did. Matter of fact, I did write to the band on Facebook and I told them what I just told you about my wife and their, their words. And they wrote, I think it was Claus who wrote me back. 
I do believe. And he just had real nice words to say. Just, just awesome guys, awesome band, man. So we had a Hakon. I'm sure I pronounced these names wrong. <laughs> Hakon Morberg on bass. Klaus Morberg, guitar. Thomas Johnson on drums. And Johan Bolin also on bass. Uh, they had different, you know. No, they didn't have two bass players, but, you know, he was, Johan also played in certain years, I guess. So there you have it. I haven't done a music video. I thought I'd do one. One of my favorite bands, Desultory, Desultory, Potato, Potato, Tomato, Tomato. Hungary, Hungary. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Hope you guys like this. Give it a like, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, tell others. It's very important. Word of mouth seems to be the way to get people watching your channel. So tell others. I appreciate it. And thank you ahead of time. <laughs> we'll see you guys next video.